Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and I got a question on one of my Final Cut Pro tutorials of how do we create this kind of title where it disappears uh, into the contours of a mountain. So we're going to run through how we create this with the built-in plugins in Final Cut Pro 10. So you don't need to dive into Photoshop or anything like that to do the masking or any of the techniques in this. The only thing we're going to be using kind of separately to Final Cut Pro 10 is a spreadsheet to actually manage and kind of organize our titles. So let's dive in and have a look at how we get this set up and also with this kind of nice zoom into the mountains as well, which gives the title that nice little extra classic touch. So we're gonna jump into a brand new project here, and we have our mountains image here, which we'll drag down to the timeline. And I'm gonna stretch this out, so it's around 15, 20 seconds long. We don't need it too long. And then we are going to jump to our transform tools and just increase the size of this. I'm just gonna position my playhead and grab the transform options. We'll zoom in a little bit here. So basically, we're going to have kind of a, a slow zoom into these mountains, and then we are going to kind of have the titles disappearing as they kind of reach the top of the peaks there. So the first thing we need to do is add our title. So I'm going to jump up to my type tools at the top here, my titles, and we are going to jump into the titles menu here, where we're looking for the scrolling titles. And we'll drag this down to the timeline. So I often use a search. I sometimes don't remember which folder things are in. So the search is super useful. Um, and then we'll stretch this out. So we've got the titles there. Now we've got our kind of default name and description there, but I want to change everything up in the inspector at the top right. Um, so we've got some kind of proper names in there and stuff. So I have a spreadsheet here in Google Docs. And basically the way that we've got these set up uh, means that we kind of get them formatted in exactly the way we need them for Final Cut Pro 10. So that is um, one single empty column, and then a column with a name, and then a column with the, the role of that person in the movie. So obviously this is in Finnish. Um, this is taken from the movie Ariel. But we're going to copy these, including the empty column here. And basically, if we jump back into Final Cut Pro 10, you can see there's an empty tab at the beginning here. And then there's a tab between each of our columns. So basically, when we paste these in now, Things will be a little bit out of line, but basically we have everything lined up apart from uh, this one line where things are a bit longer. I'm going to actually change up the style of this type. So we'll come up to the top here and we're going to go to 2D styles. We'll choose the condensed style and then we're going to drop the font size down. But you can see even though we've kind of changed that up a little bit, uh, everything is intact. I'm going to turn off my transform options there. Uh, so you can see we've basically, by organizing it in a spreadsheet, saved ourselves a whole bunch of effort in kind of typing things in here um, just by copying and pasting it from a spreadsheet with those tabs set up. So we'll type in the title of the film here. And what we can see uh, is that these titles are scrolling up and then going over the sky, but we want them to disappear into the mountains here. So basically, the way that I would approach doing this and that we're going to run through is to actually use a draw mask on the type itself. So with my type layer selected, I'm going to come across to my effects on the right hand side. We're going to go down to our masks here and we're looking for the draw mask. We'll drag that onto our type here. So basically we've got this option here, click to add control point. So we're going to zoom right into 600% so we can see the mountains nice and close up. And we're basically going to draw over the mountains. Now, I'm going to actually disable the layer that we're making the mask on. Um, it's just a little easier without the type there uh, to click in the right spot. So I actually had a little problem getting the draw mask uh, pen tool to pop up. And I had to close down this project and reopen it to actually get it to show up. But now uh, you can see we can click through. And actually, if I tap V, it's going to hide my text. And basically, we can draw along the contour of the mountains here. Now, you can be as precise uh, as you want um, with this. I'm going to use the little red box here. People often ask what the little red box is for, and that is exactly what it's for. When we're zoomed in, we want to move around, then this will allow us to do this. So basically, we're going to draw along the contour of the mountains, and we're going to keep this nice and fast and loose, um, because we're going to add some feather to it as well. So we don't need a kind of super precise drawing here. So I'm going to head around this and speed this little section up. So once we get to the edge of the image on the left hand side here, 
we are going to zoom right out to say 100% or 50% so that we can see the edge of this and basically when we get to the edge we can just draw a big rectangle all the way around until we come back to the beginning again on the right hand side where we'll zoom back in again and then find the top of these mountains on the right. And actually in theory we don't need to go all the way to the edge um, because our text doesn't go all the way to the edge but it just kind of makes it a bit easier to manage it or think about it uh, later if we have kind of done the whole width we're not going to end up with any text uh, getting cut off where it shouldn't. So once we get back to the beginning uh, I can see my first red dot over here on the left hand side we just need to make sure that we connect with that red dot and that's what creates the mask and then we will have one stage of this all done. So that has now created our mask and we can re-enable our layer just by tapping the V key again. And if we go back to fit, then you'll see now if I click away from my draw mask, it will turn it off. And basically uh, when our text gets up to the top here, it just kind of disappears nicely into the mountains. So one thing uh, we can also do here as well, uh, which I like to do with kind of text when I'm overlaying it on things, is just drop down the background a little bit. So if I come to my color correction here, I'm just gonna, and I've got the background layer selected here, the mountains, I'm just gonna drop the exposure of this a little bit, just to allow those titles to really stand out that little bit more. And we'll do one other kind of little trick here. So you can see before and after, we've just kind of dampened down that contrast. And then what we can also do um, for our color board is add a shape mask up here in the inspector. And that will allow us to kind of restrict that color change so that we still get a bit of uh, kind of really vibrant color in the top there. Um, but the titles are also kind of more visible there. And with this nice wide blend, it's blending kind of back into the original image really smoothly. One last thing we'll do here as well is for the mask that we've created, we're just going to add a tiny bit of feather here. So I'm going to go to 100% view just so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to do a tiny bit of kind of feather on the edge, or we could even feather out. And that's just going to mean that as the text gets to the edge there, we can maybe modify the fall off a little bit. So you can see the text as it kind of hits the edge of that mountain is nicely fading out. So we'll just switch this back to fit and we'll come to around about here. So you can see the text just nicely disappearing off there into the mountain. So it's a kind of nice neat effect and we can just add one extra thing here. So if we come to our titles here, we are going to come to the Ripple Tools Complete plugin and add an adjustment layer. And what this is going to allow us to do, the adjustment layer will kind of affect all layers below, is it's going to allow us to zoom into both the text and the image at the same time. So if we come back to the beginning here, we are going to turn on our keyframing on this adjustment layer for our transform tool. So turn your transform tools on, on the adjustment layer. And there are free adjustment layers available as well, but this Ripple Tools complete one is available from FX Factory. Um, if we come to the end here and just nudge back one frame, we can then zoom in, whoops, and just zoom in there. And we'll just turn our motion properties, transform properties off here. And what we can see now is with that adjustment layer set to increase, when we play this through, both the image and the type are gonna be zooming in uh, by the same amount, which gives this kind of real nice, neat effect um, as everything zooms in. Okay, so that's how to create this kind of nice, neat, uh, stylish, set of titles um, using a couple of neat effects. So the draw mask to kind of add this disappearing titles off into the mountains and then also some color correction and as well this kind of nice slow zoom in that we have here as well which kind of really adds that kind of extra little bit of detail and texture to your titles. So hopefully this tutorial has been useful. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10 then please do leave them below. Otherwise I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.